Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're all doing fabulous today. So, can you believe we are at the end of the month almost already? Oh my gosh. Where is time going, guys? I don't know. So, before we get into this reading, I will be putting down some holy water. I am all moved up with shea butter today, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> you know what time it is, don't you, baby? Mm. Tarot's now in session. Most Honorable Judge T. T. Dong presiding. You can all do whatever you want. Mm. So we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with. Or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. Like I always say, it could very well be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. And we will put it together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Ooh. Okay. My goodness. <laughs> Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Oh my goodness, this deck's... <laughs> How do I hold on to these decks? I have no idea. Especially when they're going crazy on me like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, Vale Flewy, what do you think? He's like, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a nap, mama. <laughs> Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. <laughs> okay. the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Goodness gracious. Gonna make me shuffle truffle this one out. Okay, right on. Well, we've got 14 swords on the table in total. <laughs> Looks like we showed up for a good old sword fight. And you know I'm always ready with my sword. Alright, your person. Oh boy. Looks like uh, your person is not sleeping. They've got anxiety. They took their bed out in the middle of a hay field, dropped it out there, and now they're scared out of their living mind because who knows what's going to come out of the shadows here. All right. This is all about worry, fear, anxiety, depression. Okay. Not a good energy. All right. Somebody could be trying to numb themselves at night to make this pain go away to make this anxiety go away, but it just doesn't seem to work. Queen of Pentacles, that's a little very grounded, loyal, giving, kind energy. She is the cornucopia of all goodness here. All right, very abundant. She also has a tendency to be looked at as, on the negative, a little bit lazy, because she's basically got everything. So she can kick back and just relax and let her ser servants serve her whatever she wants. King of Swords, he's diplomatic, he's fair, he's kind, he's all about the truth here. All right, you could be getting a message from this person. All right, looks like uh, your person here feels like uh, it's kind of been smooth sailing. They've been kind of taking the, 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 the low road, so to speak, kind of just chilling, trying to take it easy here. Okay. So, I think we need to get into the Queen of Pentacles and see why she is here. So, why is the Queen of Pentacles in this person's energy? <laughs> Ugh, I tried to use that trick to stop my sneeze, but I couldn't. Sorry, guys. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in this person's energy? Okay. What's going on with the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands? There's an obstacle here. There's an obstacle here, and your person is trying to make a path right towards you. Yep. So, whatever it is, this person, they know there's an obstacle. Whoever this is, is determined within their core soul here to build an obstacle here, or to get over this obstacle 
to come towards you, okay? So why is this person wanting to come towards Pisces, please? Why? Why are they wanting to come towards Pisces? Why are they wanting to come towards Pisces? Why? Why? Okay. Because this person here is possibly done carrying weight from the work here or just carrying a heavy load here. So somebody has been busy is kind of what I'm getting here. They've had a lot to do. Maybe they've been doing yard work, regular work, chores, errands, whatever it is. So they've been doing a lot of work and it seems like they're free to come see you. Okay. I can appreciate that. Not having to get angry. Which is always a good thing because you know we don't want to be angry. We're going to talk to the Four Swords here. What's going on with this Four Swords here in this person's energy? Show me the Four Swords. Four Swords. Four Swords. Four Swords. All right, what's these Four Swords about? Okay. Okay. Somebody here is just determined to get to you. All right. Maybe they're wanting to get to your house. What? What's going on with the Knight of Pentacles? What is going on? Yeah. Whoever this is, Pisces. Okay. This person here is wanting to connect with you. Maybe you guys possibly work together. Maybe you're working on a project together. And whoever this is, it's like they want to come towards you here to work on. It could be possibly a project or just possibly just to be around you simply. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. We'll go a little bit deeper here. A little bit deeper on this Eight of Pentacles, please. A little bit deeper. A little bit deeper on this Eight of Pentacles here. A little bit deeper. A <clears throat> little bit deeper on this Eight of Pentacles, please. Okay, yeah. Whoever this is, is just, they're wanting victory. Well, let's see if we can get a little bit deeper here. What do they want victory with here? What are they wanting victory with here? Thank you. They're wanting victory with... Okay. Whatever they started here with you, if it was a project, they're coming in wanting to reap the benefits, okay, that you guys have sowed together. Whether it's on a romantic level or it's on a business level, this is what they're wanting to do. All right. Reap the benefits. And honestly... With that seven of pentacles to the eight of pentacles, wanting to grow more here. Wanting victory, wanting to achieve more with you. Not just the seven of pentacles. So they're wanting to work past this even more so. I like this energy. This is good. Whether it's business or it's love related, I like it. Well, let's talk to this person's anxiety. Let's talk to their fears here. What is this all about, please? What is this person worried about? What do they have anxiety about here? What are they worried about or have anxiety about here, please? What are they worried about or have anxiety about, please? What are they worried about or have anxiety about? Oof, boy. They're going to make me shuffle this one out. I'm going to have to go through the whole deck. Good Lord. What are they worried about? What do they have anxiety about? Come on now. I'm not, don't got time for carpal tunnel today. Let's go. Let's go. What are they worried about? Have anxiety about here. 
Okay. Ooh, what's this King of Wands for what they're worried about or have anxiety about? Oh, oh boy. What is this? Okay. So... This person is kind of worried that you may just say no. Yeah. This person's worried that you're basically going to leave them out in the cold. Okay? And this is what they're worried. So why would they think that Pisces is going to leave them out in the cold? Why would they think this? 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 Okay. The Six of Cups. Because possibly you did leave this person out in the cold at one point. Let's go a little bit deeper on the Six of Cups. It could be you're dealing with a past person. Let's get a little deeper on the Six of Cups. Yeah, and it's like this. It's like... Uh, yeah, unexpectedly in the... Past, you did leave this person out in the cold, possibly, or made them feel like they were left out in the cold. That's what I'm getting, okay? Don't shoot the messenger. Okay, so what's the King of Swords here for in this person's energy? Ugh. Allergies, I'm telling you what. Wow, what's the King of Swords with the Empress energy? King of Swords with the Empress energy. Okay. So there's some kind of aggression here. Or mental, like, conflict here. When they reach out to you. That's all, that's all I'm getting. Okay? So there is some kind of message coming in towards you. But in the back of their head, I feel like it's strongly tied with this Five of Pentacles to this Five of Wands. So what is this? So they're reaching out to you, but there's anxiety here. There's still... Anxiety. There's still anxiety. Okay. The Ace of Wands. Okay. I almost get like somebody is anxiously here. Okay. Wanting to. Hmm. I'm getting somebody that just is wanting to make love to you. Okay, so maybe this happened in the past where that possibly tr happened and it didn't go over so well and maybe you kind of like said, uh, this was the worst experience of my life or you, maybe you didn't necessarily say that. Maybe you said, I, I don't know, but there's something here where, uh, gosh, they're wanting to connect with you. But they're in their head about the passion here. So why is this person so much in their head about the passion? Let's see. Why are they in, in their head so much about the passion? What's going on here? Because there's love here too. Somebody wants to you because yeah they're in love with you somebody's wanting to be with you because they're in love with you but there's there's passion attached to this strongly I'm not gonna get too deep in on that like cuz you know I, I gotta be nice here okay <laughs> even though I don't want to be nice okay <laughs> I mean I'm not like there's the, yeah it's like they they want more than just that my goodness, this is nuts, Pisces. I think I'm going to grab the Kitty Boom Booms for good old Jesse and Gabby. And uh, we'll do one card for each sign. So Pisces dealing with Pisces. Mm -hmm. They want to scratch when you're scratching, Pose. Mm -hmm. Cancer. Mm -hmm. Cancer wants some forward movement here in the situation. Or maybe move forward. I don't know on what terms. Scorpio. Scorpio is going to do something impulsive towards you here. Uh, Aries. 
Aries is very much guarded against you right now. Leo. Leo. Leo's got a lot of feelings of love for you. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Sagittarius wants to take the leap with you. Mm -hmm. Libra. Sure. Okay, Libra feels like you guys are soulmates. Gemini. Gemini. Uh, they just want to find balance here. I don't know what on what end or what degree. Aquarius. Aquarius. You guys haven't been talking, but they've been thinking about scratching on your scratching post. Huh. Uh, Virgo. Virgo. Thank you. You and Virgo are not talking. Taurus. Taurus feels like you're a big deal, but they feel like you're leaving them out. And Happity Cappity, how do you feel about Pisces Cap? Capricorn wants to talk to you or possibly tell you the truth. So, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe if you want to claim this or if it resonated. And until then, tarot adjourned.